Hey, tea monster here. There's been a number of uh, discussions here and there on whether you can actually export MD3s from the latest version of uh, Blender 2.8. Uh, I'm here to show you that you can, and I'm going to tell you how to do it. So, uh, strap in, and off we go. Okay, we're going to come here, which is uh, duke4.net. I'm going to give the exact... Uh, address in the YouTube description and here at the moment is where the MD3 export for 2.8 lives. It was uh, updated by user Photonic and uh, it is available here at the moment. Um, this may change but right now this is where it is. Okay we have our uh, export file here. Right hand click copy go down to C Program Files, we need Blender Foundation, 2.8, whatever it is, uh, 2.81, Scripts, Add-ons, right hand click, and paste. Okay, now we're in 2.8, we go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, MD3, to type and there we are make sure that check mark box is there and we're ready to rock and roll okay we're here in blender again and uh, we've got our shotgun we have our pickup and we have our skeleton to animate it with now what we're going to do is do a couple of little pre-flight checks to make sure everything is okay uh, namely the fact that we have UVs that everything's ready to go on export and a few basic checks to make sure that we are making life easy for ourselves and we're not going to wind up uh, scratching our heads later on. So, uh, before we do anything else, we're going to make sure that there's a UV map. Uh, let's go to where it says UV editing. And yes, we have a UV map. That all looks like it's copacetic. Very good. Uh, one more thing is that the current version of the exporter does not have an automatic triangulation uh, checkbox. It doesn't do that for you anymore. What we do have is, if we come over to here, go back into layout mode, and what we're going to do is go to the modify tab, and we're going to put a triangulation modifier on here. Now the triangulation modifier uh, won't mess things up here, so you can still retain quads where you want them uh, if you want to edit it any further. Uh, but uh, when it exports, it will triangulate. Uh, otherwise, you'll get weird error messages. Okay, so that's in there, ready to rock and roll. We have our armature for the actual skeleton. Uh, we check we have a UV map. We check that everything is properly named. Uh, go back here. We have proper materials. For everything uh, so that again you're not scratching your head going what is uh, material.001 or what is mesh.003 or anything else like that uh, very important uh, for your sanity when you're trying to work out what these things are afterwards okay one more thing before we export is animation frames now if you look down on here let's highlight the skeleton you'll see that there's loads of little keyframes. Each one of these little white dots is a keyframe. And as you move it down, you'll see that the character animates. And there is 100 frames. Beyond that, nothing. Okay, so the last frame is 100. Now if you look here carefully, down here, it says start one, end 100. Now if we don't touch this, if we left that at default, it would be 250 frames. Uh, you'd have 250 frames of nothing, but it would still store all the vertice positions for 250 frames. So you would have an absolutely ginormous MD3 file, which nobody wants to be honest with you. If you're exporting a prop with just one frame out, like a chair, something like that, start one, end one. Job done. Okay? That's important. We need to go click, click, click. 
Then we go to File, Export, MD3 Shaders. Picky.md3 and export. That will take a little while to go through. Okay, here we are, and we have pigcoptm md3. Let's have a look at that. And that'll open up in Misfit 3D, which uh, the best thing you can really say about it is that it'll open md3 files natively. Animation mode and play. There you go, everything seems to be working. There's a little tail back on his hand, we've got to fix the waiting, but generally that's how you do it. Okay, thanks for tuning in.